now first of all let me introduce myself uh, i am an uh, ordinary guy who just uh, used to be uh, struggling in dubai but after some time you know the unemployment thing makes the people do wonders so i broke five guinness world records because i didn't have anything else to do and now uh, i train students for guinness world records in education and memory related uh, things so i have a lot of uh, students who broke guinness world records in pakistan and uh, you can see here these are some of my students and i'm a memory trainer also and mental calculations trainer also and i because i do not practice a lot uh, myself uh, that's why i just do it in audiences when there is presentation or some of my sessions or seminars other than that my students they can be beta calculator in their sleep also because they are doing the practice daily and so this session it's all about if you are taking like hundreds of this sessions but you are not doing any practice or not after the session and in between the sessions if you are not doing anything you will have a great knowledge and you will you will be inspired and excited everything but you won't have that super power or mental calculation skill or memory thing it's just basic uh, learning basic uh, simple methods after that practicing them that's it so that was my uh, and i'm uh, if there are uh, iba students here i am graduate of iba class of 2000 i did mba in mis uh, in 2000 and let's start now if you get up in the morning and you look around and this is the uh, this is the site that you see there is nothing clear what do you think here mr uh, as the people are uh, able to write right like they, they are able to text so they can yeah, text or they can be able to uh, speak as well if they mute uh, unmute tell them okay. and they can write in the chat box as well yeah that's good okay, just if two or three persons five persons they give me the answer it's uh, they i will assume that they are representing uh, everyone so what do you Anyone think who would like to when, add when you get up in the morning and you see this is the thing you are looking at nothing is clear what do you think what what's happened my eyesight is weak okay so if you are thinking my eyesight is weak right away you will go to the doctor right eye specialist and he he will either give you the medicine or he will recommend the uh, eye glasses or if you are some day you are hearing loud everyone everyone is like shouting at you and telling you the thing oh you didn't hear me and you think okay something is wrong with me and uh, my uh, hearing uh, is weak today or it's so you go to the doctor and he will give you medicine or hearing aid so these are normal things whatever is wrong with our body we think okay something is wrong we have to go to the doctor and it's curable so he will give, give us the medicine or whatever exercise or anything like if uh, 80% of the time when i go to the doctor he says okay you need to exercise or walk there is nothing wrong with you but you need to walk daily like for 45 minutes so he will recommend something and we know these things are curable but what if uh, we are forgetting everything we are in the meeting and when my turn comes i think oh, i realize that okay my main file that i had to uh, get the figures and facts from and tell them in the meeting it's in home it's at home and i forget that or if in some presentation the upper management is in front of me and i am after every sentence i am looking at the presentation and getting the figures facts from there they will know okay he is not he doesn't know what he is talking about and he is just reading the presentation so there are a lot of things 
lot of lot of ways that we can we can damage our business we can damage our relationships ships we can we can get low grades in studies uh, where the memory is concerned there is no such thing as bad memory there is trend memory or there is untrained memory so what are we going to do about that if on daily basis we are forgetting things like it happens daily that oh i forgot what what you said yesterday okay tomorrow i'll bring it so that person is annoyed or offended because we didn't give him the respect or we didn't care he will think the other person will think that okay i told him something to remember and bring that thing to office or class or something and then next day he saying oh i forgot tomorrow i'll bring it so he didn't care actually we cared but we forgot so that's the main issue but we don't we don't consider it any disease or anything we just laugh and say okay you know i forget things it's it's same as i'm saying okay you know i'm blind i have wherever i go i just uh i have like three four accidents daily you know because i am blind it's just like that if i say okay i forget things you know that so this is also curable and it's easier to cure this disease than to cure bad eyesight or bad hearing and if you you just believe me that it is easier to cure bad memory if there is some disease called bad bad memory it is easier to cure that than the hearing weak hearing or weak eyesight my you people are understanding my english right yes sir ah yeah. uh, okay thank you okay now now i just wanted to tell you that we are already smart we to have a powerful memory we don't need to be smarter whatever we have already allah subhanahu wa taala has god has already put something in our mind that is very great and we don't know the full potential or power of that thing we have not used like 5% even 2 to 3% or 5% of that power so let's see how smart is our brain we'll do a little little exercise that maybe you have you have seen it before also let's let's read this paragraph all of you <clears throat> anyone who has read it just to tell me and we'll move on i have read it i've okay. read it now my, my question here is is there anyone who had difficulty reading this paragraph no no right no sir so there is no not a single word that is more than three letters and it's not spelled wrongly here but everyone was able to read it perfectly why is that anyone one one reason is already on the screen so i don't want that reason but can anyone tell me why is why is it that we are reading it perfectly even though every word is wrongly spelled i think it's because of our brain's auto correcting mechanism because even when we see things doesn't matter which direction we see them from they are eventually adjusted in a way that they are in the right direction so i think this is also an example of that but when it comes to reading okay muscle memory okay that you can say so both are correct because already we have seen that same word hundreds of times so may no matter how it it is written we can read it like miss aina said memory and like muhammad abdullah said actually the gist of all those things is that our brain is already smart enough to read this my point here is whatever the reason is you all people are saying that our brain is smart already so we don't need a smarter brain to memorize anything in this world our study material our files if someone is a lawyer 
he can just memorize all the cases in the history with figures facts reference numbers everything i'm not joking already he has that much powerful brain he doesn't need uh, uh, you can say even one notch smarter brain to memorize all the books in the history of uh, law but he has to of course learn the methods and also give the time to it and when he is uh, he is quoting figures and facts in court room everyone will be surprised and of, of course he has a positive impact on the other party or the judge or the jury so i am saying we are already smart we just need to learn the method, methods how how we can use that brain to memorize anything today's session is about memory there are other things also we can do with smart brain bus i am talking about memory today okay in this is in my lifetime this is second online session that i am doing so a few days ago i did my first zoom session with ib also and in that session the the students told me 30 objects and i memorized them but afterwards i got the feedback that okay that was the uh, i should not do that on the on online session it's not it's not fun so it will take a lot of time right now i'm just saying that you can memorize the whole newspaper i did that in the iva auditorium in front of i don't know 150 or 200 people so it's a, it's a very very easy thing to memorize anything by just looking at it or hearing about it or reading it only once not twice only once once you have the methods and you have already uh, done the practice right practice after some time it becomes your habit to just look at the thing and if you want to memorize it you can okay let's these are two pillars of uh, memory observation and association we always uh, when we remember something it's it's always uh, you can say when we see something it reminds us of something else so always is connection association there is no stand alone thing so observation and first talk about observation so this is a picture and just tell me this portion and this portion this portion and this portion what color are they gray and light gray gray and so okay one is gray and the other is light gray both are gray but one is dark and the other is light, light. gray so these two portions i am talking about okay now i am going to hide this this portion now tell me what colors are they same color same color same color same color same dark blue dark gray color same color sir same color and now they look different right yes. one is dark the upper one is dark the lower one is light but if i hide this place i am not changing anything else i am just hiding that black portion and you can see they are the exactly same color actually copy pasted from from one to the other there is no difference in that color okay now tell me in one or two sentences anyone why when we are hiding this place they are the same colors and now we we all know that they are same color both both of them are the same color but why we think this is lighter the uh, bottom one and the upper one is darker why we think that we, we are not thinking that our eyes are telling us the same thing anyone uh, i think it's because of the perspective we see it with, uh, with okay. okay miss mariam abbas is saying it's because of the perspective or we can say background you are saying right sir i think the thing the line that is dividing it making it to two different colors like it's breaking it into two and the cause of that we are observing is as two different colors when there is no black spot that you put over there okay now 
both are correct miss mariam and you sir i am just saying it is because the because of the background that's right but i am saying because just a minute yeah because the upper part the background it's uh, lighter than the let me see, lighter than this part so our mind tells us that this part is darker because of the lighter uh, light blue background and when we see this part its background is darker it's brown so our mind is saying okay this should be lighter so i am telling you whatever our mind thinks no matter if the others in the thing in front of us is totally different whatever our mind wants our eyes to see our eyes will see that same thing even the color perspective background everything you you got my point right if it's day actually but our mind tells our eyes and all the body that it's night we will we will not think we will yani we will believe that it is night in our case we will, we will be right we will be telling the truth that we, when we say it's night even if it's day but our mind says it's night so the uh, you can say the prime minister of this body is mind not eyes not ears not anything else so whatever our mind thinks that happens and that's the power of our brain no matter what's in reality whatever our mind is thinking that becomes our reality and most of the motivational speakers and everyone you have seen on the internet facebook there are uh, inspiring clips and everything more or less they are saying saying the same thing that wherever you want to be just start thinking of that start talking of that thing and you will reach there got my point so i am saying we have to just think of that uh, whatever we want to memorize we have to just think about it, it and whatever method we have learned we just have to apply that thing and it will be memorized in our mind no matter how difficult it is if it, it's numbers that uh, mean nothing the most difficult thing to memorize is numbers telephone numbers or any any other figures and facts but they will be easier if you are using your mind so most important thing is whatever your mind is thinking uh, it controls the eyes what they are saying it controls the your hearing whatever you are hearing if your mind says like when you are uh, traveling or you are going from your home to your office or your university then you are hearing a lot of voices or sounds or noises but the ones you want to hear only those you remember the others you forget you have heard all of those voices but you only remember what you want to remember okay i hope i didn't con confuse you people more with that okay now there will be a card for 5 seconds something is written on that card and it will be on on screen for 5 seconds what you have to do is you have pencil and paper anything just whatever is written on that right away don't write like that after 5 seconds when the card is gone then write it on your paper or just ma'am just uh, tell me what you what you saw and we'll go from there okay ready 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 Okay. G. Anyone? Tell me. What is in the strings X? Paris in the spring X. Paris in the spring X. Paris in, in the, the, the spring X. Okay. And when when we do it in audience, like. from uh, in 60 to 70 people or 50 people there are two three people four people who tell me paris in the the spring x otherwise they say paris in the spring and i i have a confession 
when i saw this for the first time i did the same thing i said paris in the springs so this the and there is another the also if we are observing it observation means neutral observation no biasness then we'll read it like paris in the the springs x but if we are sitting in let's say i am sitting in my country and in my country if you if you are speaking english wrong there is uh, something wrong grammatically or the word is wrong it's very very bad everyone thinks that okay he is not educated just because he didn't he didn't speak the right correct sentence of english so our mind is our mind is programmed that we cannot say wrong english not even one sentence so always we will write in pakistan and india we, we will say paris in the spring always we will never say paris in the the spring it's a very bad thing because it's wrong english so but uh, i'm just uh, telling you if you are observing observing something you cannot go you, just what it is be neutral you cannot do biasness if it's the the you have to read it the the in observation you have to neutrally observe that thing okay let's move on now there are in association there are two associations one is conscious and the other is subconscious conscious is like in our studies in school if uh, if a kid we know we remember that if a kid does not know the spelling of uh, believe b e l i e or l e i what it is the teacher tells this kid that okay uh, memorize this phrase never believe a lie so he knows the spellings of l i e lie and when he associates that lie to believe he says never believe a lie in lie it's l i e so in believe also it will be l i e so he remembers that that's conscious association to remember something or piece of pie or like in if you are in in math there is so ka toa in trigonometry they they make us memorize that so there are a lot of things that we did consciously associate until now we remember them that's conscious association but some things we subconsciously remember we have associated them some some sometimes you know that you look at a thing and that thing reminds you of another thing and when you think about it those two things have nothing no connection and they have nothing to do with each other but somehow it reminds you of this one thing reminds you of the other thing that subconscious association in your life sometime unconsciously you have associated those two things that's why it's reminding you of that thing okay now let let's see a little example of subconscious association before the next slide comes on the next slide there will be a question and whenever that question comes you have to right away answer that question right before that just uh, loudly say with me these nine words silk 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 i can see no one is saying that silk 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 Water, water, water. <laughs> water. Oh yeah. I, I heard one or two say milk. Yes. Yes. After two or three seconds, we are we are realize that okay, the milk they all the milk we drink. The cow cow drinks water, but all all its milk we drink, but in the first second first one or two seconds there were uh, there were voices of milk i'm just i'm not saying who said milk but i am just saying if even one person said milk what was that 
that was unconscious association that's my point from our childhood when there is a milk pack and on that milk pack there is a picture of tell me cow oh. cow oh. cow and there oh. is milk bottle there is a picture of cow always so already we we have subconscious association of milk and cow and no matter what what the question is the first thing comes to mind is milk and to and to emphasize that i did self 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 thing and i saw it somewhere and it was a good example of unconscious association so i included it in this presentation okay let's move on people ask me that what are the limits of memorizing because we normally students ask this and uh, students who are in, especially in law or medical line do they are becoming doctors and there are very uh, a lot of books and every book is like this thick so they have a lot of things to memorize and a little like maybe 5 to 10% of the things that they have to understand 80 at least 80% of the things that they have to memorize in our studies also 70 to 80% of the things we have to memorize so everyone asks what is the limit of memorizing and not me every person who is in memory or who is expert of memory i am not expert but they say there is no limit i'm just for just to give you an example top of the line iphone has 250 gb right or 512 gb storage space and human and human mind it it has uh, 2.5 million gb storage space if you are if it means uh, in 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 urdu we say 25 lakh so 256 is not even 256 is not even 300 and 25 lakh is 2.5 million in english you know that but i just to give you an idea to the pakistani indian people 25 lakh is too much 25 lakh gb means 2.5 million gb means that all the books in this world if one person memorizes all the books in this world still there will there will be a lot of free space in his uh, hard drive in his brain and a very little space will be occupied if that person memorizes all the books in this world all the libraries all the universities books all medical line books law books finance books whatever you are studying or doing in practical life everything if you memorize still there will be a lot of so the one line is the more you remember the more you can remember so it increases like muscle it becomes powerful so let's because you have heard me talking for like half an hour let's do a little mind relaxing game choose any number from 1 to 5 done if any one person says okay done i'll move on yes okay done. then whatever your number is multiplied by 9 you okay. will get any done. one of these Okay, done. 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 Then? Done. Done. So, so, oh, it's not so fast, 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 fast. We have to, we have to wait like two, three seconds for others. So, whatever your answer is, nine or eight, just add their digits. Done. Done, done sir. Mm, yes, okay. sir. Okay. And that answer, that final answer. so is that yes. answer from last slide you subtract 5 from that number then then correct yes. same answer then sir again when you multiply your number with 9 whatever your answer is it is two, two digit number right so mm. if it is single digit number just keep it that way if it's two digit add those digits and you will get a single digit number right after that whatever your single digit number was subtract 5 5 from that single digit i am giving instructions also but they they are written on the screen also 
Now subtract five, five from that single digit and now convert your final answer to A, B, C, D. If your answer was one, don't tell anybody. Your convert it to A, then two is B, three is C, and so on. You got it? Yes. So done, Kade. Done. Done, sir. Okay. Done. Now, now pick a country that begins with that letter, not not city, country. So you can pick any country, but you cannot pick Karachi, Dubai, Toronto, London. These are they are cities. You can pick a country with, starting with that letter. This Pakistan, UAE, Canada, England. I'm just giving example. You can with starting from that letter, whatever the country. You, okay, you got it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Okay, now. Take the last letter of the, that country and think of an animal that starts with that letter. And now, you got it? Yes, sir. Yes, got, it. Sir. got it. Okay. Now, using the last letter of that animal, you just chose. Think about a color that start, starts with that letter. You got done. it? Yes, sir. Done, now sir. tell me how, how many of you chose orange or cal kangaroo? Sir, I chose exactly this, sir. This was my answer. Ah, this was your answer. Orange. I'm just telling you 80 to 90 percent of you will give the same answer. Because in this game or whatever you call it, we are. Uh, we are actually limiting the choices. Every person's answer will be four. And with four, every person will go to D. And with D, tell me how many countries are there other than Denmark. No one will uh, think of Djibouti or Democratic Republic of Congo. Everyone, I and mean, there are maybe two, three countries or four countries. Everyone will think of Denmark. Just saying, okay, now the mind is just like a muscle. The more you train it, the more powerful it becomes. But there are there is one main difference between our mind and uh, the muscle. The muscles that one difference is the muscle can be overtrained. The coach will tell you, okay, that's enough. If you go beyond that, it will damage you instead of giving you any benefit. But it's not like in with mind. If you train it like 15 to 20 minutes daily, I recommend, then it will keep improving. There is no limit. I'm just giving you an idea. If you can memorize a magazine, let's say in one week after doing some memory course and you keep practicing maybe Someday you, you memorize it in one day or after that in one hour or after that just you flip the papers and you have memorized it just saying. Okay. Now one more mind game also. These are uh, nine dots and the task here is you have four straight lines you can draw four straight lines and wherever the first line ends from there the next line will start you can draw four lines and in that those four straight lines you have to cover all these nine dots you got my you got the question clear right yes sir just four straight lines sir can you repeat sir can you repeat uh, with four straight lines, you have to cover all these nine dots. Those lines should pass through these dots. Sir, I can do it with three. Yeah, but those lines will not be joining. They should be joining. When you draw first line, wherever it ends, the second line starts from there. Okay, okay. You got my point? Got it, sir. Otherwise, it can be done in three parallel lines. Not saying that. 
you can draw four lines and when you start first line whenever you stop from there you start the second line then wherever you stop from there third line and like that four lines this we used to do when we were kids in school so give it a try just by thinking about it nothing is going to happen you have to do it on paper pencil try it and you should you should love to fail only then you can succeed done, so no matter how many done, times done. You, sir i have done it okay. who's got can it I, can i show it yeah sure sir, yeah that's correct everyone can see it right no sir cannot see so you'll have to pin me sir say your name and just show it show it to the screen or i will show it on the screen no problem sir Now, muhammad dain khan muhammad dain khan okay look at the screen everyone let's see in every in every session memory session one or two students get it so there is nothing wrong with if you didn't get it this is second line and then this is third and this is fourth line so just you have to think out of the box a little one line second line third line and this is fourth line okay now i have a you, question you, please tell me sir uh, you just said to use these uh, nine bo boxes nine circles to uh, cover the area but the line that you just draw it was going outside the circles yeah, who told you you cannot draw outside the outside the dots they are just dots there there, there is no square or triangle or anything oh right this is not a shape they are still separate dots that's it okay now my question is can you do it in three lines i'll show you how to do it so they should be joining lines lines, lines have to be yeah yeah sure just like every rule is same all the conditions are same just instead of four lines you have to draw three lines and all of those dots should uh, those lines should so do they have to be straight lines tell me can we make one broad line and then um, cover two of those lines and then cover the third one actually that was my phase 3 where you went but that's a good idea no one told you that the lines were will be thin you can in in one big brush black brush you can in one line you can uh, you can just draw one line and do all the, all the nine uh, dots will be there okay with three line this is one this is two and this is three just by changing the angle a little there will be somewhere no matter how far the lines will join the only uh, the only way they are not joining is if they are parallel lines but if you uh if you change the angle a little bit they will meet somewhere so that's the idea actually so with three lines you can do it and my ne next question she answered already miss samin navi uh, that can you do it in one line so if you take a very broad line and you can just do it in one line okay, let's move on as i told you before there is no such thing as bad memory there is trend memory or there is untrained memory but in untrained memory like every person has it it's always one sided some people are you you have seen some people they are good with numbers but they they forget names and faces right but some people are good with faces and they they forget the uh, they are not good in numbers this is one another thing is some people are uh, 
uh, whatever they see, they memorize it right away. But then they forget it right away also. And some people are there; they they cannot remember anything. It takes them very long time. My I have a, uh, my elder son, elder son. He is like that. He he takes a lot of time to memorize something, but when he has memorized it, uh, he can he can remember it for as long as I, and even after one year, if I ask him something that he memorized, he can tell me. But he takes a lot of time to memorize it. So it's one-sided, untrained memory always. But the trained memory, it is you can memorize it faster, and after that you can. you can remember it for as long as you like so there is a little game of grocery items that we do in 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 sessions but you can do it at your home or at your place wherever you are you are sitting but it takes if you are three people to four at least then it's a good game otherwise one or two but i will tell you what it does the first person says i went to a shop and i bought a bought an apple let's say anything you can say the other person will say second person i went to a shop and i bought an apple then i bought a car let's say the third person will say i went to a shop i bought an apple i bought a car so first two persons whatever they said the third person has to say all those things in same sequence if the third person said i bought chocolate the fourth person will say i went to a shop i bought an apple i bought a car i bought a chocolate and then he will say his own thing whatever he likes i bought an ice cream like that so it will go on till one person makes the mistake either he has not the sequence right or he says the wrong thing then we say okay these are the people that is the untrained memory the capacity or limit of untrained memory so you got the idea yes sir yes sir yes, yes sir so you will see in yes. we we do this experiment in our sessions but right now we cannot do this experiment but i can tell you that whenever we do this experiment in our sessions most of the time it's seventh or eighth person who who does the mistake in in even educated people in like a bastards and phd people people seventh or eighth person he does the mistake of of going out of the sequence or doing the wrong object the uh, there were one there was one or maybe two sessions where it went till like 10 10 items 10 persons but and you you see in our telephone number there are seven digits right i don't know the other countries in our country there are seven digits so there is there is a reason why there are only seven digits in a telephone number because the above average very good memory person above average person he can only uh, he can only grasp seven to eight digits at a time that's it no more than that but but when you have a trained memory you can memorize 60 digits or 100 digits in one go just looking at them once and you memorize them i have done it many times even our kids who have who are, who are uh, already trained they can do it like 60 70 100 digits at one go just look at them once and they memorize it so it's not a big deal everyone can do it just right method and right practices required and there is like i can think confidence thing so the 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 memory it uh, likes to be trusted if you are writing everything on diary and paper and pencil and in computers you are not taking any chance and the your memory does not like it at least if you are not used to it at, at least start uh, uh, start like start in small steps some things that you know okay i don't have to write this start from there and have confidence on, on in your memory 
believe in you and then after some time you will know that there are a lot of things that i don't need to write i already remember them but i always write them that's why ma'am my memory behaves as i have uh, uh, if i have confidence in my memory it will behave like that if i don't trust it it will behave like that i will tell you one thing there is a at this uh, slide we normally take a small test from the audience and after that we check that test and in second session we do the same type of test after the session and they can see the difference that before this uh, a little uh, learning little method what was their score and now but at that time because we cannot do the testing here let me tell you a small story there was a test and in a in a college and the student who was not prepared for the test he on his answer sheet he wrote only god knows the answers to these questions and gave it to the but when when the examiner checked the papers and they got the papers and then one paper that that student's paper it was written on that paper that god gets an a you get an f so because god knows everything he gets an a and you get an f so that was a little story for testing one self i am just saying have confidence in in your memory if you trust it it will do wonders for you and you will be happy you trusted it okay now those two things association and observation but why, why will you observe something if you are not interested in that thing so that's another thing if you are interested in some, something only then you will observe it and when you observe it you can memorize it or remember it if you don't observe it you won't remember it but to observe something you have to be interested in that thing for that just let me let me show you what i mean read this paragraph because we don't have that much time just go through it you can write something if you want to. after this paragraph i will ask you two questions do you want me to go to the next slide yes sir okay now my first my first question is how many stops were there hmm okay four stops that four another four okay six six five five what eight five five, five. okay why, why are the, these different answers four four then six then five because you people were not interested in this information so you it was it was the it was the easy question how many stops are there it's easy question and everyone was thinking that okay how many people were left in the end i have to calculate that that is difficult calculation everyone was doing that they thought this old person mr abdul basit will ask that how many people are left in the end okay my second and my point again is if you are interested in some piece of information you were calculating that even if it's difficult and if you are not interested it was easy but you didn't see it okay my next question is who was driving the bus what's the name of the driver you okay one person said you 
इफ यू हैव सीन दिस यू योर नेम क्या से होगे आई नो दिस इज दिस इज इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड यू विल लुक एट दैट पीस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इफ यू आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इवन इट्स रिटन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू यू विल नॉट सी इट बिकॉज़ यू सी विद योर आईज बट यू ऑब्जर्व विद योर माइंड सो वेयर एवर वेयर एवर योर माइंड इज दैट यू रिमेंबर even if your eyes are seeing looking at that thing you will not remember that so how many apps are there below the line whatever the sentence is how many apps are there just look at it and then i am going to the next slide one okay how many apps one no one it was more than one Four, four. Three. Someone is saying one, then three. Okay, tell me. Three, five. Five, seven. Four. Okay, let's see. Four. One, two, two. three, four, five. five, and this is six. six. The people who said three, they missed this. You know, the off. There are three offs, and. the f in of we don't consider it f we don't even look at of because it's we don't that we hum of ko insaan hi nahi samajhte isliye that's why we don't when we are reading in fluency wherever this word comes of we don't consider it uh, it a word that's why we ignore this f okay again my point if we are interested we'll count count that thing if you are not interested we will skip it okay now this slide there are four balls just pick one ball and look at it for 20 seconds don't look at any other thing no don't look at me just look at that ball for 20 seconds start let me start like that okay Tell me what happened. So the other balls disappeared. The other balls were there, but they disappeared. Your eyes are telling you that there are there is no other balls, but only one ball that you have you picked. So if you are interested in some person, uh, I I would rather say if you are not interested in some person, even if he is sitting in front of you, you won't look at him. He will. I mean, the. वो आपको नजर नहीं आएगा यू कैन नॉट सी दैट पर्सन बिकॉज यू आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड ना इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड यू विल ऑब्जर्व एंड वेन यू ऑब्जर्व यू विल मेमोराइज और रिमेंबर दैट थिंग दैट्स द सेम पर फार्मूला यू कैन नॉट गो अराउंड इट इफ यू आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन दैट थिंग पीपल कम टू मी समाइम्स पेरेंट्स दे से दिस चाइल्ड इज वेरी वीक इन मैथ इज वेरी वीक इन मेमोरी वेन बी make friends of the with that kid and uh, ask him he tells us all the statistics in pakistan history cricket history in which ball there was a four there was a six there was one or two runs which match we won we which match we lost everything every every fact of cricket history he knows he is not weak in math he is not weak in memory he is just not interested in the studies that you are pushing him to do if he is interested he will do it okay now what are two or three things that you i want you to get it, get from this session and if there is one or two things what are they that you got from this session because you didn't learn anything didn't learn anything new you already know that you are smart god has made you smart and everything all these things that we talked about everything you know already just my question that what one thing you are getting from this session and going to your home or after this session what is the one thing that you that has you in your mind and you are going maybe continue with that that 
that i will consider success of this session hmm. any two or three people just in one two sentences learn with can write in the chat as well kisi ko kuch bhi nahi mila kya sir i learned from this session that through observation i can memorize the thing okay that's good if you memorize something uh, you have to memorize you have to observe that that thing for okay one or two people more and then we'll we'll finish the session because it's all right you can answer and what we what we learned is like uh, the brain is quite powerful but we are under utilizing it and with just a bit of uh, interest and vigilance i guess we can use it at an optimum level okay mashallah that's good one more and we will finish sir can i speak yeah yeah please ma'am miss yeah uh, everything in our brain everything which is in our brain is actually what we are paying attention to or or we are interested in that stays okay. in our mind okay now those were good i think i i think aina yeah. aina and pan want to add something to it right Yeah, Sorry, please. Aina, go ahead, please. Ah, Aina. Yes. Aina, I, I was just going to say that the same way you exercise your physical body, you have to exercise your muscle brains. Oh, yeah, but that was a good one, by the way, Miss Aina. It's same as your muscle, so you have to train it. Simple as that. If you are not training it, you are sitting on sofa and just. eating chips and watching movie and for after 6 months you cannot walk it's just it's simple as that okay now for for the for the participants of this uh, session i have a special discount also if you want to get the training or in memory or actually that's the course in urdu but uh, the green math course that's in both urdu and english so you can contact me or mr asghar for that matter and it was nice uh, of you to have me here because in uh, online sessions i don't i told mr asghar also that it's very difficult to do what we do in uh, our sessions in front of audience in online session what i'm going to do i do i don't have anything to do in front of uh, audience online so what he says the online sessions are like that so whatever you can do just show them and so i hope that uh, it was not very bad session but uh, that's it so thank you mr basit uh, we can open the floor for some questions and then uh, uh... we can, after that we can close the session if okay, anyone yeah. has a question okay so please ask may i ask a question easy yeah, you have you have to ask easy questions right <laughs> um, i just want to know what are the the five records that you've broken ah okay those i'm the fastest texter in this world you know you text on, on your mobile you do texting right you send text to other people i am the fastest texter i do like dr shahid qureshi saab says i do always texting to my wife but i have the fastest so that's one then uh, you know in chemistry there is periodic table elements of periodic table right so the uh, fastest time to identify fastest time to identify all the elements of the periodic table that is my record still i am the current uh, world record holder so you have to write uh, full uh, names hydrogen helium lithium not only the symbols 118 elements you have to write full spell full names and i did it in 200 uh, sorry 2 minutes and 18 seconds so that second one the other two were i broke my own record two times also so they consider it separate record and in spanish also i am the fastest texter someone one of my students broke my record so but uh, at that time I, i have a record in spanish also spanish texting so but i after five records i thought 
uh, it's not a, it's not a very cool thing everyone will looks at me and say okay all his life he has done only one thing break in his world record but the students but the students they are very energetic and young so i am helping them break in his world record so every year in pakistan there are education related i think total 18 records uh, guinness records 